What's up everybody, this is George Trilly. Uh, my name is Salem Sunny. for those who do not know me. I just wanted to take a quick video to encourage you guys. Uh, right now, this is my last week of classes, and often enough, whenever we get around this time of the year, it's, it's a very difficult time, it's a challenge time, we're faced with a lot of obstacles, especially those who are any form of educational type systems, uh, or any even aspect of life. This is not just restricted to school, it's just that I'm in school right now, and this relates more to me than not. I just want to encourage you guys that during these times of trials that um, when things get difficult, when the challenges get great, greater, uh, let's lean more on God more than before. I take this from James. Uh, James wrote a book and I, I love how he, he words it. Consider pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And then he goes on verse 4. He says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, lacking in anything. Not lacking in anything. Oh, that's, that's so beautiful. He said, not lacking in anything. That is so beautiful. I love the way he puts it. Through the trials, through the testing of our faith, we have perseverance, we have endurance. And through the endurance, our, we have maturity that comes through. Uh, I want to... Speak the word of life, speak the word of encouragement in your life. That whatever the situation you may be going through, that is a situation so that God may be able to reveal himself as the one who will be able to change your situation. This takes me back to a quick story. I'm going to tell you the quick story and then I'm out, I promise. The story is actually in the book of John, John chapter 11. And then when we read up there, if you read the, the, the beginning verse, the, the author goes about setting up the stage of the friendship between Jesus and Lazarus and his sisters, how close our friends they were. But Jesus didn't come when Lazarus was sick, and that really upset Martha and Mary. When Jesus came, they were really upset at him. But what Christ wanted to tell him that it was a intended procrastination that would lead to a joyful revelation. In other words, you know, sometimes you're about to go through the party or something like that. Everybody knows when the party starts around like 10, nobody shows up up there until 12 because you know everybody that goes at 10, those are the lame people. So, you know, you getting, you start getting ready at 10 <laughs> because you show up up there on purpose, late on purpose, so everybody knows who you are when you walk in. It's the same thing sometimes in the situation that we face. Christ in this situation wanted to reveal to Martha and Mary that he's a God who is the resurrection himself. Uh, I love when Jesus tells Martha, oh yeah, he's going to resurrect, uh, he's going to come back. Martha says, oh, of course, he's going to come back, you know, when all the, the dead at the, end of, at the end of the ages, you know, he's going to also be raised. No, he's like, no, nah, that's not what I'm talking about. And often enough, that's what we do. We like to rationalize how God is going to act in our lives. We like to rationalize it. We like to put it in the terms of something that we can understand. So we say, no, God, you know, I, I know what you mean. Uh, you know, the situation is not really going to get solved fully, but I'm going to learn something intrinsically. No, God really wants to take care of your solution. And that's basically what he told um, when the, the sisters were, were assuming that that's what he meant. And I love in verse 44. Oh, man, I love it. I love in verse... Um, no, actually, I, I take that back. Verse 41. That it starts with verse 41. Uh, verse 41. Uh, when Jesus, before he called Lazarus out of the grave, he, he, he thanked his father. See... Often enough, we skip that point that when Jesus, basically, I'm going to just read it. It says, so the, the two took away the stone, so they rolled the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you. You have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. That sometime, what, what I want to glean from that verse is sometime you need to speak faith despite your current situation. Even this time where it seems like God is not responding, God is setting up the stage for a great revelation of Himself to your life. I pray that that may be it. Whatever situation that you may be going through right now, that God reveals Himself more mightily, more powerful, like you've never seen Him before. There's nothing like God. There's nothing like us. Grace and peace. Be encouraged. You're born. You're truly. Remember, your God's very best. Take care.